I need a vesuvula or whatever they call those. And what are the what are the things from from World Cup and from the World Cup in South Africa? Huh? Vuvuzela is that how you pronounce it? As than any old horn, yeah. but they're cheaper than any old horn. Yeah, because it's just a piece of cheap plastic. And it would be easier on my voice. Are we filming? Yeah. <laughs> so nice of you to tell us. <laughs> Hello, America. I'm not sure what you've been watching so far, but uh, the camera is, has been on. So I have absolutely no idea. How's that sound through the microphone? Probably just as ugly as it does for, you know, just as it is. Uh, are we ready? What are you ready for? JJ, what are you ready for? Uh, test, review. test review. Test? When's a when's test? Thursday. Thursday? Tuesday. Next. Tuesday. <laughs> How is the music, though? But you were in the room, were you? Yeah, I saw you. But I mean, I don't know if I should say, hey, you want to come to class? <laughs> oh. I do that all the time. Oh, heavens. So what's going on next, what, what's going on next class period? No class. Miss videographer. That should already be, is that on your syllabus? Yeah. No class? So we don't want her to walk all the way across campus lugging all this heavy equipment when she doesn't have to. Just because I'm a nice guy. Actually, normally, uh, very often, or actually, this is my sixth fall semester at the University of Central Missouri. And four of my six fall, six fall semesters, I've gone to the uh, Institute of Management Accountants Student Leadership Conference with students from the Accounting Students Association. So four out of six years I've gone, and it just so happens to be this weekend, this Friday and Saturday. Uh, and so I've gotten in the habit of just kind of blocking that time off, just in case students choose to go, because then I'd be going with them. Um, but because they didn't choose to go, because it's in Anaheim, California this year, which is a little farther away and a little more expensive than, say, St. Louis, which is where it was last year. Uh, so they didn't choose to go. And so you all just get a free day off. Because, I don't know, I like following my syllabus. You know. So, no class on Thursday. I'm sure that breaks most of your hearts. Although, I mean, in a real sense, you could be disappointed, could you not? Couldn't you be disappointed? Tyler? Because you're not getting your money's worth. Right? I mean, you pay, well, some of you pay for this class. Some of you got somebody else to pay for this class for you. But some of you paid for this class, and so you're not getting your money's worth in a sense. But in spite of that, I've rarely found that students complained when class got canceled, especially when it, when it came in advance. You know, kind of you were warned in advance, so you could, could go home and take a nap immediately after the preceding class or whatever it is you're going to choose to do. Like, Ms. Wiley, do you want to take a nap right now? She would love to take a nap right now. I am the only thing between her and a nap right, right at this moment. So, no class Thursday. On Tuesday, then, is your next opportunity to do what? Yeah. Right? Show off? Because I've done air guitar, I think, every time I've talked about showing off. I'm sure it looks really hideous on camera, and so that's why I don't watch that. But... Uh, Then why do you do it, Dr. Fessler, you might ask, because you all get to watch it. And you know, maybe, that, maybe you find it encouraging. How in the world is a professor supposed to motivate a student to do good in the class? Can a professor motivate a student to do good in the class? 
Really? Not really. Although, is it something that students, well, you know, sometimes I feel like that's an expectation of professors, is that we're supposed to motivate you to do good, right? And motivate you to learn. But really, can I motivate you to learn? How do I motivate you to learn, Matt? Mining. So, I mean, all I've got is air guitar. <coughs> you know, and if, if you don't find that motivating, I mean, I'm, I'm doing my best. You know. It's not as much fun as playing real guitar, but it doesn't, it doesn't sound as cool either. So, show off, please. And really, in many respects, we've covered fairly, it's been fairly easy material since the last test, has it not? High, low method budgeting, some fairly straightforward stuff. So I hope you take that as an opportunity to really study up and do good because this might be, in some respects, it might be the easiest of the tests because the, the content is, in, in a very real sense, some of the easiest. Okay? Nick? Okay? Tony, welcome. If any of Tony's family is watching, he is now officially here. And you know he was here. You didn't skip class today. Oof. You see, you folks are such a rough crowd at this time of day. I mean, really. I mean, I'm not sure a real comedian could get you to laugh. And therefore, Dr. Fessler, you know, his chances are pretty hopeless. So. Uh, tell me, what do you know about the test, Mr. Musgrave? On it's on Tuesday. Is that all you know? It Is that all it covers? Uh, Check out your syllabus. What's it say? What's it, what's it going to cover? Chapters what? 579. 579 and 5A. Right? 5, 5A, five, 7, and 9. And so what is, that really doesn't mean a whole lot to me, though. I mean, chap, when you say chapter 5, it does not ring any bells. Anthony, which I welcome. And now, if Anthony's family is watching this video, they all know that now that Anthony came to class today. And I'm sorry I had to do that because I just did it two minutes ago for the, for the gentleman who just preceded you into class. It is very good to see you, sir. So what is chapter five about? Cost behavior. What's the, what's the other chapter that we're supposed to be studying, Ashton? Mm -hmm. Regression analysis using Microsoft Excel. <coughs> Anthony's probably not even looking. Are you looking at the syllabus yet? Yeah. 